What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the vlog. It is a beautiful goddamn day. We got a beautiful bird sitting on the window. Oh, flew in away, flying away. He's one of the ones that live in my wall outside. If you haven't been around for the other vlogs, check that one out. But there's birds that live in my wall. They're making babies. I actually caught them making love. Love birds. Ha. Anyway, today we got a full shit show happening where the bank decides, oh, you know all those papers you brought in last week to get signed and we're going to put on your file so you can actually have a bank account? Yeah, well, we need those again. We actually didn't photocopy or take note of any of them. So why the fuck did I bring them in? What did you do when you took him into the other room? Did you just sit there and talk to someone? Did you sit there and make a coffee? Like, what did you fucking do? You tell me to bring these papers in so I can have a fucking bank account. I bring these papers in. You're like, okay, you're good to go. I'm like, okay, cool. Leave. Go to go try my card on a fucking coffee, a $2 coffee from Tim Hortons. Doesn't work. Says it's frozen. I'm like, frozen? What the fuck? So I go back to the bank. Oh, yeah. Or no, sorry. I called the bank. And they're like, yeah, no, we didn't do anything. You need to bring it all back. And I'm like, the fuck did you do? Like, did you not do anything? I don't know, man. Like, if someone came to my place of work and was like, hey, I need this done. And I came back to them and was like, hey, man, yeah, we got it done. We got it done. And then it wasn't done. I'd lose my job. Like, the whole reason I'm in this mess is because a different bank, TD Bank, fucked up. So, I don't like banks at all. Like, I used to think I was the Fresh Prince the way I fill up banks, but nah, dog, that shit's fucking... Fuck financial institutions all to hell. I don't like them at all. They piss me off, they irritate me, they get me all heated. Anything like that, just fuck, man. So those of you who know my girlfriend, Tegan, amazing person, love her to death, love you babe, um, she got us this machine, so we don't use just regular water, we use conga water, so here, we've got our conga machine right here, our K8, pretty sweet, our Nagic K8, alright, so this all might look rather confusing, but basically, you turn the faucet on, it runs through this hose, it comes to this pre-filter, we're just going to take out all the chemicals, all the chlorine, all the all the bad shit that they put in our water supply, like the city, so your tap water comes through, gets filtered, takes out every freaking chemical in this thing, and then it goes through the K8, which we can see here, let me just turn it on. The pH balances the water. It was complete pandemonium a second ago. Guess they're gone. Holy fucks. That was crazy. I don't know if they're fucking or if they're like... Look at their beefing. Yo, you're all good, bro. I'm here to help you. We're together now in this. We're raising these babies. We are together in this. Okay, so for those of you who obviously don't know, because I, I missed it with the camera. I looked and there was like birds going nuts on my balcony. I was like, what the fuck's going on? So I like came out to the door and there was a bird here, got like dive bombed off of there onto the ground by another bird. And it was like, I almost thought they were trying to like make love at the start, but then it was like, had its beak in it, the other one's beak. I don't know if one was biting it or what the deal was, but they were like rolling around on the ground with their claws dug into each other. And I was like, oh shit. And then as soon as I ran to grab the camera and come back, I saw them all kind of like scatter. That's why I don't know if you guys saw anything. I'll have to check the footage again. But now, like, if you haven't watched my other vlogs, we have a third, third season. I don't want to say it's the third generation because I don't know if it's the same birds or not, but it's a new, it's the third time, third year, that there's a family of birds that have making a nest in there. And like, I shouldn't be, but I'm leaving a little bit of seed out just to help them. So this, like, I'm committed. Homie's in the tree, I can see him. He's like, you guys will never be able to see him. He's like right there. I see him. And I believe he's, he's the dad, but I don't know if he was just trying to protect his nest. And like other birds were coming around, but I've been secretly putting these down here just so they're hidden. There's not too much of them, just so they can only get them. And I got plants growing all around. Like, it should be secretive. 
but if others were invading his property, like, he's gonna go nuts. So, that's the scoop. I was just kind of like, holy fuck, nature, National Geographic, what is your front door, mate? Or your back door, your balcony door, I don't know. Would this be a back door? Do I have a front door? I don't know. My girlfriend makes fun of me all the goddamn time because I actually loosen up my shoes to put them on. She says I'm, I look like a dad, especially because they're like all white shoes. She makes fun of me that they're dad shoes. I don't really, really care. I want to be a dad one day. I want to have a little crotch goblin running around. I think it'd be fun. Be a lot of fucking work. Be a lot of stress. Be a lot of worry. But I think it'd be super rewarding. I love children. I love my nieces, my nephews. Ah, they're the best. They're the best, man. When I get back to visit with them, it's just I have so much fun. But maybe I have fun because it's like, once they poop, once they pee, once they cry, once they, you know, get all squirrely, it's like, back to your parents. Maybe that's why. Uncles are good for that. I have to come back for you. What is up guys? We are here at Fit For Less Gym. K-Fed just pulled up as well. We're about to get a workout in. So I'm gonna take you guys to the full workout and show you exactly what we do. Let's get it. All right, what is up guys? We're in the gym right now. Kevin's getting the dumbbells. I'm on the barbell rows. I almost forgot what the fuck I was doing. But I'm gonna catch the set here so you guys can see what's up. I know what we're gonna do for weight. For these, I'll start with 25. 25 to start for this? That good? Yeah. It doesn't feel great. I can imagine. So, what? why did you catch it on the corner? Kick Here. The fucking wall. Show the, the folks your toes. Yeah. <laughs> so, you did what? Kick the fucking wall. <laughs> right on the corner. Awesome. I played football last night. It's not too bad. I think Take three of the other. Like, oh, all, all three? Yeah. Did you run funny? Yeah. Did it feel fucked up? Yeah. But it's weird that it feels like I'm here too. Like I'm top of my foot. Does, does it still feel, can you, you put weight and shit shit on yeah. it? Does it bend? Yeah. It feels great. I didn't look at it since last night. Well, that picture was last night? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Okay. You see it's all bruised in here? Oh yeah. Fuck, just jammed it. Fuck, is that blood or is that bruised? Oh yeah, it looks bruised. Man, maybe you fucking... Broke it? I don't know. It's still straight though. Yeah, Best you did is fucking... But if you can still put way, 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 way on it. It's still rough. Might have fucking popped out or fucking, I don't know, just really fucked up, fucking bruised the bone. I just found it weird that it was Did you have a shower with it yet? Did the, the heat make it hurt? Because typically if it's bro 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 broken, heat or ice will make it hurt. Okay, so maybe you just fucking right bruise the fucking bone. Okay. So I probably wouldn't be able to So how, how many of this is it? Is that porn in the gym? <laughs> it's like I could see in the mirror. Oh. <laughs> what is up, Fit Fam? I want to wrap this video up by just talking to you guys a little bit about what we got going on today because right now I'm sitting down to do all of my client check ins. Typically, we do this on Friday. However, yesterday was super busy. I thought I'd have more time uh, before and after my uncle's funeral. However, and I'm not looking for priority on it. We're good on that, um, but thank you. 
Um, but yeah, I just thought I had more time, but we spent a little bit of time with the family that I chose over getting these done. So I gotta get these done. And then I've gotta go do something very, very fucking cool that I'll be revealing to you guys as the videos progress. So stay tuned to the vlogs. I appreciate you guys for being here. Much love from the bottom of my heart. And if you aren't already subscribed, give us a subscribe so you never miss a video. And I'll catch y'all in the next one to reveal what it is we actually got cooking. Let's go. Yeah.